Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be getting ready with you and I'm also going to be showing you, which has been very highly requested, how I get my current uh, sleek long bob. I had my hair cut very recently. So if you want to see how I got this sleek long bob and then my casual everyday glam with like minimal skin, then keep on watching. Um, so this is kind of like a preliminary <laughs> A first draft tutorial on how I do my hair. I'm actually looking into certain ways of like making it easier. I'm basically just exploring my options, but this is how I'm doing it until then and using a tool that I'm pretty sure everyone already has um, and that I already had, um, so I didn't have to go out and buy something new. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you my kind of current everyday glam makeup routine. Just have a little chat because I need to put makeup on. And I always do my makeup before I do my hair because otherwise I just find it kind of gets in the way a little bit. I'm just going to go wet my beauty blender, but if you haven't seen my full coverage makeup routine, I will pop that somewhere up here. I think it's up here. On the screen for you to go and watch because that is how I like cover all of my kind of like scarring from my breakouts. Um, I will kind of show you if you're not familiar with my face. My camera is lovely to me and almost disguises them a lot of the time. So you don't always see them um, when we're like this today i'm not going to be going in super super full coverage because i'm not going to be close up um apart from this video i'm not going to be close up um filming the main bulk of sit down videos i'm not vlogging or anything like that i'm just going to be doing try-ons so i can get away with having a little bit less coverage so i'm not going to do my full coverage um makeup routine but if you want to go and watch that it will be up here in the corner for you to go and watch. This morning I'm going to be mixing two shades of the Fenty Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I've got the shade 240 and 255. I'm kind of a mix of in between. This one is perfect for the lower part of my face and this one is so great for the top half of my face so um, I'm kind of going to mix both of them together today and put on the back of my hand. I remember when I got 255 and I got it in the winter and I was so heartbroken because I was really excited to try the foundation and uh, <laughs> It was a no-go because it was so dark for me. 240 is now far too light for me and I've been struggling. I've been looking particularly ashy here and along my forehead and it's not looked it's not looked great. So we're just kind of gonna <laughs> slap this on. I want the main focus of this video to be my hair so I'm not gonna be um, like taking my time with this makeup look too much. But yeah, my skin is looking slightly better. I can tell it's now getting better from um, the aftermath of Ryan's birthday week where we basically were just both, um, like he decided to not be vegan for the week and I was just like, I'm gonna eat all the bread, all of the sugar, all the things basically um, that I know are really freaking my skin out. So it's getting a lot better. All of the big like cyst spots are gone, but I am still struggling a little bit from, from the eat out to help out scheme. Everyone this week, because it's the last week, decided um, that we were all going out for dinner. And it wasn't too bad, but the fizzy drinks, they really mess with my face. My face is just looking a little bit red. I always see such correlation between like sugary drinks and like redness and irritation in my skin. I've also found it's been a real adjustment to going back out and being social so much, like the eat out to help out thing. I don't know if you have this if you're in other countries, but it's basically like you get some money off if you eat out Monday to Wednesday to try and encourage more people to go out during the week. And I'm like, oh my god this is so much i'm so used to like being at home and eating like at home especially over the past like couple of months i got really really into cooking at home and eating very very healthy and it's gone from like one to the other and i'm just like i'm not i'm not down for this i'm not down for this so i've basically decided that in september i'm gonna be selfish <laughs> i'm staying in I'm saving my money, I am done being a social butterfly. I just wanna stay home, you know? Does anyone else feel that? I'm calling it Selfish September. You know, my friendship group don't have any birthdays. We've got two birthdays on the same day in October. Two birthdays on the same day. So I've just used the Fenty what it do spray to set my makeup. I love using that. I find that my foundation just doesn't move after if I'm applying like a cream product over the top or anything and it's great. So I'm just gonna do my brows. I actually gave them a little like trim and a bit of TLC this morning so they're not looking too crazy. I don't really need to do too much to them today. This is kind of gonna be maybe like a minimal, minimal glam. I'll probably finish up and have like a full face of high coverage. So 
for all of the way. To be honest, I wouldn't even be mad about it if I ended up with like a full face of glam because I love it. I think it, oh, oh. <laughs> I think it looks, I think it looks especially good with um, my hair when it's shorter. It's funny how my style really changes um, depending on my hair. Does anyone else have this? I know a lot of you probably think I've just put too much thought into basically everything in my life. But does anyone else find that like the second I change my hair my wardrobe kind of really takes a shift i'm so prepared for loads of you to just be like no you're a freak but that is just the way i've always felt and i've gone from like long to short hair now enough times to know how dramatically um it changes the way i style myself and i would love to know am i the only one out there do you all do you guys feel the same i'm just doing contour by the way using my fenty uh, cream and bronzer but yeah it's not me saying i don't like uh my hair at the moment um it's just like it's obviously different it's obviously so different to um when i have like long hair when it's like all curly and like you know that's a very very different vibe i'm actually enjoying having it short like the majority of the time basically until i have to put on like a coat or something and then i'm like i don't feel like these coats work and i don't know if that's a really weird thing to say also someone the other day said to me i know you'll have extensions back in like in no time but you should like basically stay this way um forever and i was just thinking like wouldn't that be so boring if i kept that like, imagine if i kept my hair this way for the entire rest of my life like wouldn't that be weird I don't know. I'm gonna keep it like this for like a super long time because I actually just want my hair to be like really healthy and keeping it kind of like trimmed is definitely really important for that. And I obviously want to grow out my kind of natural colour and just add back in like subtle highlights but in a much more gentle way to my hair than I did before. I still haven't got a new brow gel guys. I need to get a new one. Oh my god it's so much more satisfying setting your brows once you've actually like plucked and trimmed them ugh, so much better i've just been really struggling with them lately i used to maintain them all the time i think lockdown has just made me very lazy with my beauty routine like i can't tell you the last time i fake tanned <laughs> it's been a long time i'm gonna do some eyeshadow i'm gonna be using the kkw beauty uh classic eyeshadow palette this one and i basically use these three matte shades in the middle on repeat all the time the yellowy one actually is so gorgeous let me bring you in it looks so yellow in the pan but actually on my eyelid and with my skin tone it just works as a really nice natural brown and i am obsessed with this at the moment super nice and easy and then i'm also just gonna a little bit of the pink and brown like mixed together over the outer two thirds of my eye and then I bring it almost right up to my brow bone and bring it out and then I use my concealer to like clean up. I'm really enjoying using this palette at the moment. I basically threw it in with a huge lipstick order that I did from KKW. It got like a makeup bag and everything the customs are hideous but seeing as i was doing an order i was like i might as well throw some other things in to try i'm going to use this shade here on an angled zoeva 317 wing liner brush i need to go onto the zoeva website and get some more makeup brushes because i just feel like i don't have enough at the moment like there's loads that i really need like a pinpoint concealer brush so that i can just do like lots of little marks on my skin but not actually have to put too much makeup onto my skin I really like doing my eyeshadow like that. It gives like a really soft, fluttery look to my lashes. This is one of my favorite bits of doing my makeup. So as you can see, I like mark out my eyeshadow. It's basically the same concept as, you know, when people use like the bits of sticky tape, but um, without using the bits of sticky tape because CBA. So once I've done that, I'm then blending the majority of the concealer with my beauty blender. I do this bit here separately because I don't want to mess that up. I actually take a tiny pencil brush that's pretty much clean and just blend over the line so it's not too stark. And there's still like a little bit of a difference, but I'm also going to go over my under eyes with bronzer later on to kind of um, blend everything together. Before we get on to that, I'm going to do mascara. I'm using my Bare Minerals Lash Topia as always. And that's with my mascara tube that is basically running out. I have another one which I'm using now which is the fresh one.
it's just the best mascara but I, honestly best mascara and i know so many of you have tried it and you love it as well such an underrated mascara and then i also just use the end on my bottom lashes as well i'm actually going to add a little bit of blush this is um from kkw it's flower wall this is from i think the kkw um collection that was like based around um kim's wedding makeup this blush is so pretty it reminds me of a rimmel one i used to have and love and i think they discontinued it but it was gorgeous so this is a little bit more subtle than the blush that i normally wear i'm gonna throw on some lip liner quickly because it always annoys me when i do my foundation i mean so many of you will probably know uh the issue you do your foundation and then it, you lose your upper lip so as you can see this is me sweeping my bronzer i use this angled it cosmetics brush and it fits perfectly like over my cheeks but also under my eyes and it just takes that little bit of the uh sheen away just ever so slightly but still leaves me with like a bit of definition like i don't mind when you have a sheen there because i think it gives your face more definition than if you were to like completely matte powder it one thing i'm really excited to share with you today is how i've been doing my lips recently because some of you will know i now have like a whole lipstick palette and i have been having the best time applying my lipstick every day as you can see my skin is just looking nice and natural i find the glow of this foundation always really helps to almost like reflect light and that helps to basically just make your skin look a lot more flawless so even though my scarring is there you can kind of still see it it's just not super visible to the eye right away so yeah we have a nice natural glam i don't have too many layers of makeup on and this if i'm not talking through it literally is the quickest makeup to do when i don't have to layer and spray and layer and spray and all of that that i do in my full coverage makeup routine so this is my general go-to for if i actually need to get ready quickly and it's more on like a casual everyday basis now this this is what i have been so excited to share with you if you follow me on instagram you will have seen a sneak peek of this already i'm actually doing a tutorial on how i got my lipsticks into this palette basically i had a bit of an issue with some of my kkw lipsticks i left them in the car and they overheated and kind of like melted down a little bit and i was so heartbroken they were brand new i'd literally just picked them up from the post office and it was the hottest day i went to the gym i left my box in the car the car was so hot when i got back in and yeah it was sad but i remembered back in the day people used to do this on youtube good old 20 what was it 20 not 2010 2009 beauty youtube i will be forever thankful for those days because it really taught me so much including how to get your lipsticks into a palette but i basically had enough kkw beauty lipsticks to fill a palette and i'm just this is oh, this is so satisfying to look at like it makes me so happy every day and i know that's probably really sad i don't care so i'm going to use the lip liner in love this is again from the kind of like wedding-y collection by the way i am so sorry if so many of you um aren't a fan of the brand or like it's just not something you can get hold of right now i know if you don't like the brand me using them a lot is probably really annoying but i just love them i don't feel like any other uk brand is doing the colors like the tones i know they're not a perfect like um company and like some people just don't like the kardashians but uh, <laughs> i can't, can't relate but i do think there isn't anything really in the uk that is doing like these colors if someone has any recommendations i would love to know because the closest i've really found is charlotte tilbury to be honest and even her lip liner range is still quite reserved and i find there's just you know when people do nudes and it's like there's one nude and you're like that's just not the right nude for me whereas with kkw there's like more nudes than i've ever seen in my life and it's like oh yeah i'm definitely gonna find one and i just love that like i love that there's so many different nudes so i'm just gonna take the lightest new lip liner and just run that over the center of my lip finish off i'm gonna use this shade here which i think is one of the 90s ones it might be 90s runaway <laughs> i didn't label them so i have to remember what all of these are off the top of my head i remember most of them these two are love which are from the wedding collection this one here is 90s supermodel because those are my favorites this one is another one from the 90s collection i believe and this one is 90s runaway this one is like nude one i believe and then nude three so yeah i've got a vague idea the darker they get the more i don't really care because i just don't really use them as much the lighter shades i just 
love. And I'm using this shade because it's got a little bit more warmth to it. I've not gone for anything too pink because I want to keep this looking a little bit more everyday, a little bit more casual. So that is it, nice and easy. A little bit more low key, a little bit more breathable on the skin. Feels nice. Anyway. Let's get to it. I'm really sad that I'm using my red straighteners. I just think they are not the cutest, but my um, rose gold pinky ones are at Ryan's house. Sad, sad times, but I'm gonna start off by giving my hair, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna start off by giving my hair a brush. I literally start at the ends and work my way up because I'm so paranoid about um, any kind of like breakage on the ends of my hair. So with that in mind, heat protection, creams, sprays, they are essential. I picked this one up the other day and I didn't realize, I used to use L'Oreal Hot Straight. Do you remember when Beyonce used to advertise it in like 2003? I was obsessed with that stuff. I swore by it. I used to straighten my hair every single day when I was like 13. Sometimes if girls would bring their straighteners into school, was that a thing for you guys? Let me know. <laughs> because it definitely was for us in the UK. You'd like bring, someone would bring their straighteners into school, plug them in lunchtime. If it was like rainy, you'd like, quickly straighten your hair. So sometimes more than once a day I would straighten my hair and my hair was so long, so healthy, in such good condition, like hairdressers used to gasp when I tell them. But I swore by the L'Oreal Hot Straight and I was looking at this bottle the other day and reading it and I was like, they've just like reformulated that, I swear. And even if it's not the exact same, I still really trust it. So oh, it smells amazing as well. So I picked that up because I just feel like a cream covers. I feel like I know that it's covering my hair. Like a spray, you can't really feel where it's gone. So I just run to like 5P sized amounts through the mid lengths and ends to protect my hair because I'm done with this broken head life. I'm over it. Oh, and I even picked up a tangle teaser. Uh, is this like a barrel brush? What would you call this? I've got fluff in it. How have I managed that? I picked one of these up so that if I'm doing a kind of like rolled, what do you call this? Like basically like a bouncy blow dry on my end. I can hopefully do it without maybe feeling like I'm taking too much hair off it. Like I feel like this one just isn't that gentle. To be honest, since I have um, cut my hair, I haven't really blow dried it to be honest because it just dries so quickly on its own. It just feels so unnecessary to blow dry it. So the method you're about to see is what I have been doing. So I take my straightener and I just, as I'm going down my hair, kind of roll it onto its side. So rather than it being straight, I just twist it away from me and you're left with like this. <laughs> And if your hair doesn't hold a style uh, particularly well, I would use a mousse or some kind of styling spray, anything to give it hold. Hairspray, if you like hairspray. Um, it is really important that you section your hair off kind of as low down as you can really, because these bottom bits, they are so short. And as you can see, they like stick out. This is how I can tell if a bit hasn't been done because it just does that. These bottom bits are so short. So they are so hard to do. So you kind of want to section off as low down as you possibly can. And with the back, I just roll away from the back of my head. Kind of, as you can see, there's a little curl under. That is kind of how the bottom layer looks. And I try and get the bottom layer as curled under as possible. It just helps it to look a lot neater when you um, then do your longer layers. What I don't like seeing is my bottom layers peeking out or looking a bit uneven underneath my top curled layers, if that makes sense. I don't know if that does make sense. I'm not very good at describing hair. Maybe I should watch more hair tutorials. So yeah, just twisting that away from me. Ooh, right in those underneath layers. That is what the bottom layers look like. So they look a little bit crazy, but it all comes together uh, once you do the top layers. Let's just check my work in an actual mirror that I can see. Okay, so then I let my hair down. I do another layer. And I normally do about three or four sections before I feel like I'm done. I do find it helps to work in smaller sections just so you know you've got every little bit. And with these longer front bits some days I leave them a little bit less curled um, because it kind of gives a almost like shorter at the back longer at the front kind of look but without having to have the actual shorter at the back longer at the front haircut. And one of the great things about this hairstyle is if your hair does hold it well quite often the next day you can just touch it up. Like today I could, to be fair, I could have literally just run the straighteners over my hair, over bits that were just looking a little bit kind of like they had a kink in them and then curled the ends under and that could have been it. But because I wanted to film this tutorial for you, I'm doing the full shebang. But it's fine because I'm having this weekend as like a no makeup, no doing my hair weekend and it's gonna be glorious. 
I always find this side at the front just never goes how I want it to. Penultimate layer. I'm also very excited to start, hopefully at some point, experimenting with some different styles. Like there's a half up, half down hairstyle that I really want to try. I'm just like trying to get through the days at the moment though. I don't really have the time to be having a bad hair day at the moment, but when I have a spare day, maybe I'll try it this weekend if I feel like I'm in the mood, but there are definitely a few short hair hairstyles I want to try. If there's any hairstyles that you would like to see me try with hair that is like obviously a similar length um none that are shorter please i'm not cutting my hair again if there are any hairstyles that you would like to see me try dm me a pic i might give it a go i might put it in a video right now is a prime example of me having done a section that is too big because i keep finding bits of hair that just haven't been done work in the smallest sections possible because if a bit of hair hasn't been curled under or isn't in kind of unison with the rest of the um hair you're going to notice it this is not a low maintenance hairstyle short hair people say short hair is low maintenance i disagree in terms of like hair drying time yes but in terms of like daily maintenance no no unless you shove your hair in a ponytail but my mum has short short hair like short hair and she has had for maybe like two decades now and she does her hair and has to do her hair every single day otherwise it looks a bit wild so once i think i'm done i always feel around the hair and see if there's anything that just doesn't feel quite right if there's like a bit that feels like it's sticking out then it's most likely that i have missed it but we're feeling good just go over my roots at the back to make sure there's no like wiggly bits up at the root we all we always have those we're all human no one is immune to those last layer or what i think is the last layer and especially with my top layers i always give them a little brush before i run my straighteners over them just to make sure there's no knots because what we want is a really sleek bob and if i do it just really roughly it's just not going to straighten um as sleekly is that a word? It's not gonna sit right. I definitely think I'm getting better at this though. Like most strands of hair I'm only going over once. Whereas when I first started learning to do this kind of long bob hairstyle, um, I was having to go over my hair quite a bit because I was like, what am I doing? me of the hair in drop dead fred where the girl like chops all of her hair off because she's like a grown-up now <laughs> and that was like when i watched that because i was allowed to watch that at a very inappropriate age um i that used to be like my least favorite bit of the film <laughs> that's how long i've been obsessed with long hair for since like a very a very very young age so yeah then i just kind of like take a look at the side and check that it's Everything's moving in the same direction and it's all looking like nice and neat. I leave these front bits just like a little bit longer but still have them curling in and I really like the way that looks. And hopefully this should still look cute as my hair kind of gets a bit longer because obviously I'm not going to have my hair cut every like couple of weeks and my hair grows quick so this is going to like hit my collarbones very very soon. A picture of Kim Kardashian where she has this but like a tiny bit longer so I'm probably going to wait until it gets to about there and then chop it back i think that is actually the best i've done it so far this week i'm very happy with that and that's how i curl my hair under it's so simple you just need to get the hang of it um i don't put any styling products in it after uh this at the moment just because i'm not really going out but i would always say like a mousse i think for this kind of like if you want this to really hold um a mousse is probably my preferred over hairspray hairspray for me is more about keeping the little bits in place and like taming flyaways rather than um keeping a shape like nice and molded if that makes sense but yeah that is how i'm styling my sleek 90s bob i feel like the hair and makeup works really well together it's all very very 90s and i love that i love that look that was my decade
I was born in that decade. So yeah, that's about it for how I style my hair. And at the moment I am kind of just like using a purple shampoo. I'm due a purple shampoo this weekend. Um, things are getting a little bit warm. It looks so great after using a purple shampoo. So I've got a Kerastase one that I'm gonna try out this weekend and I'm really excited to try it. I've also just picked up along with uh, this, which is, I can't remember if I said the name, the L'Oreal LV Dream Lengths No Haircut Cream Leave-In heat protecting thingy um i also picked up the dream lengths shem sham <laughs> shampoo and power conditioner to use in between my purple shampoos and then i use this in between uh washes it's the bumble and bumble pretty powder uh invisible dry shampoo uh this is for normal to oily hair dry shampoo is my best friend and especially with this hair with this hairstyle you do end up like pushing it into place a lot more like this um, so I do find that the front bits of hair can get a little bit greasier quicker So I think that if you're gonna go for this kind of hairstyle then a dry shampoo is essential but Yeah, it's basically this at the moment or a tiny weeny little low ponytail um, Which you will have seen in my cutting my hair vlog how short that ponytail is It's like so cute and stubby, but I can't even because the back layers are so short I can't even get it into like a mid ponytail or anything like that because I just have these little bits that kind of hang out so i'm basically between two hairstyles at the moment if i nail the other hairstyle that i am really dying to try then i might have a third in the mix but at the moment this is me learning how to do long bob hair because this is the shortest i have ever 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 have my hair this is phase one in me learning how to style it i hope you guys have enjoyed it i would love to know in the comments though if you have hair that is this length and you kind of style it in a similar way i would love to know the products that you recommend how you style it um any tips or advice would be greatly appreciated and if you're one of the people People that wanted to know how I get my hair like this then I hope this was helpful but yeah I hope you guys are having the best day and you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys again very very soon bye